Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my what's in my hospital bag. I am currently in my nine months ninth month of pregnancy and I need to get ready okay so I packed my bag I also packed my diaper bag which I will show you guys that as well I'm probably missing a lot of things I think this is going to be a great way to like unpack everything and then reorganize it after because I kind of just threw in what I thought I needed so let me know in the comments down, down below if you think I am missing anything I'm currently wearing this like tight tight dress with sweatpants yeah, it's a weird vibe, but that's what I'm wearing today. My bag is from Caden Lane, and I am seriously obsessed with it. It has greenery on it, and then it has the brown leather straps or handles. Super cute. I love it so much, and I think it's called like a weekender bag. And then I have a diaper bag as well and a blanket. So I'm just going to pull things out randomly and share it with you guys in no particular order. So the first thing I have in here... Are grippy socks I know I ordered these off of Amazon I know if you are in the hospital you can't really or sometimes they don't allow you to walk around if your socks are slippery so I have these I just got two pairs and they do have the grips on the bottom of them just because you don't want to slip you don't want to fall especially being so pregnant um, so I got grippy socks the next thing I have is this robe. I really wanted like a thin, comfortable robe for after giving birth. So like that first shower and just putting on like a cozy, thin robe. I thought that would be perfect. So I got this off of Amazon and it's just a dark like jade green color. It's really pretty. I like it a lot and it's very soft. So it's a long robe that I can just feel comfortable in after giving birth. And I got this on Amazon as well. Okay, next. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I am bringing three fragrances with me. I always talk about Scentbird, but I really do love them. I have a Scentbird in my car. I have one in my purse. I literally travel with these everywhere. It is $14.95 a month. I'm going to link it down below, but they have so many different fragrances to choose from. Scott is actually bringing his as well in his hospital bag, but I have three different ones that they came out with that are like newer. So first of all, the packaging, so cute. They always have different colors this one is hot pink and you just twist it pull it out this one is called La Lique Reve d'Infini I'm probably not saying that right but I know in hospitals or in labor you know things don't smell the best okay and I'm not gonna spray this directly like on my chest because I know that can affect the baby but I do want it to smell very clean and fresh in the hospital room so I probably will use this around the room or maybe I'll just put it like on an area where the baby won't go on me but I really think it's important to bring scents and fragrances and kind of have that memory tied to it as well. So Scentbird is a great way to date a fragrance before marrying it. So it's a 30 day supply that you get in here. This one smells very, very fresh to me. Definitely kind of like baby powder too. This one I think is gonna be really nice for the hospital. So this is the first one. I'm gonna show you guys the name because let me tell you, I can't pronounce names. Okay, so that's this one. And then we have this one. I love the light blue packaging. So same thing, you twist it, bring it up. This one's called Sisley Isaiah. This one is the fragrance of the month. So this is what the actual bottle looks like. It has notes of white bergamot, pink pepper, peony, Diorno Rose Accord, and Amber Accord. Oh, this one smells so nice too. This one's definitely like a more unique one, but I'm definitely feeling this one as well and I love the packaging. And then we have this one, which is almost like a light silver lavender. Oh, I'm gonna love this one. This one's called Skylar Vanilla Sky. I love anything that's vanilla. And this one, as you can see right here, it has a sense of cappuccino, pure vanilla, and, car and caramelies which I assume is just caramel. Ooh, like a vanilla caramel scent is the best. So highly, wow, highly recommend this one. So I'm gonna link Scentbird down below for you guys. If you haven't checked it out, I always talk about it. Literally, that's how I find my perfect fragrance and I have so many of these, as you guys probably already know and have seen in my drawers, I have a whole stash of these. So I'm gonna link it down below for you guys to check out. 
but these will definitely be coming with me in my hospital bag. Okay, so the next thing I got off of Etsy, and this is a little Hello World plaque. So I'm gonna put the baby's name, date, weight, and length on here. I thought this was super cute to take like the first photo. And fun fact, the baby does not have a name as of yet. So we're almost like, we're like three to four weeks away. Baby is nameless, okay? So we shall see what this baby is gonna be named. But I think I might get like a brown permanent marker um, instead of black so it's not as harsh. And yeah, I'm gonna bring this to the hospital. I'm also gonna bring my Polaroid camera and then I ended up getting some extra film. I think it would be cute to just have pictures in the moment um, of me like in the hospital bed and like the baby when the baby's first born. I don't know, I just think these are really special because they come out right away. It's an instant thing and it doesn't have to be on my phone. So I thought this would be a cute idea. So bringing this, I am bringing Stars Above pajama pants. I got the sweetest package from a subscriber, Annie, and she sent me these. So I'm definitely bringing these. They're super soft and I know comfort is going to be a must. So I'm bringing these. I'm also bringing that yellow blanket, which I also got from Annie. Scott will have to bring a blanket as well, but this will be mine and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm bringing glasses because I'm definitely bringing my contacts, but sometimes I don't want to wear my contacts. So I'm just bringing a pair of glasses, USA glasses. I always wear glasses and I have my contacts in right now, but I'll be bringing glasses because you never know. I will probably not want to wear my contacts for the full however many days I'm there. I'm also bringing these sweatpants. These I got from TJ Maxx and they're super soft. I originally did not buy these for the hospital, but after wearing them a couple times, I was like, these are like literally one of the most comfortable pair of sweatpants I own. So I figured I would bring these to the hospital. Very, very cozy and a little bit more baggy so they're not very tight on my legs. So I'm gonna bring these. I'm also bringing a sports bra. This I just got from Victoria's Secret. It's just an orange, burnt orange sports bra. I know the hospital is gonna provide a lot of things for me for like postpartum, but I am bringing three of these Depend underwear things, diapers, just in case. So I'm just bringing extra. I'm not gonna bring any diapers for the baby though because I know they'll have a ton of diapers there. All right, I'm bringing snacks, and I know I need a lot more than this. I literally only have Quest bars in here and then peanut butter cups, so I definitely have to go out and get some more snacks. Let me know what snacks I should bring down below. But I do have some Quest here, and I'm really excited about these. I bet Scott, I'm probably not gonna be able to eat at all, but Scott will probably really enjoy these. I also have a hospital gown. I got this from my sister-in-law, and I asked for this from Amazon, so I did wash this, and I'm excited to wear it, I think. I think, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be like in the moment, be like, oh, I wanna be cute, or if I'll just end up wearing the regular hospital gown, but I do have this as an option to wear. I also have this mama shirt which is super cute, which was gifted to me as well. Love the color of it. And then I have some black Victoria's Secret sweatpants. I'm probably going to bring some black leggings, either my Lulu Aligns or um, like a postpartum like center, you know what I mean? So I'm probably gonna bring that. Okay, in here I just have underwear and sports bras. I don't know how much underwear I'll actually wear or if I'll just wear those diapers, but just in case I have a little thing of underwear and sports bras. I'm also bringing this for postpartum. It has three separate parts to it, but they're like wraps for your stomach, your stomach, your pelvis, like everything. Basically it has three different ones and this was highly rated on Amazon. So I'm gonna be bringing this to try and get everything back in its original spot. I know it takes a while for your uterus to go down and nurses come in and press on your stomach, so hopefully this will help as well. Just shrink everything. I do have a little toiletry bag in here. I'm probably gonna have to pack more, but I just have contacts and dry shampoo and these little like cotton pads. 
um, and a hair elastics. So I don't really have that much in here. I'm gonna have to do skincare. I think I have skincare like floating in there, but I'm gonna have to do skincare and makeup as well. Okay, so yeah, I have this big pouch right here and this is where I'm going to put my makeup. So right now I have makeup removing wipes and I have Dove, this is a men's soap, but I don't know, do people bring soap to the hospital with them? Like, I don't even know if you can use soap after you give birth. I don't know. But I have the extra fresh Dove soap for men. I freaking love this stuff. I don't, it's like a weird obsession while I've been pregnant with like scents, but I love this stuff. Um, I also have a little Brazilian Bum Bum moisturizing gel cream. I don't know. And then I'm gonna have to pack makeup. So I'm kind of waiting a little bit last minute for the makeup, but I do have some makeup here that I'll probably bring. So I'll probably bring Born This Way concealer. I'll probably bring the Rare Beauty blush, which I'm wearing right now. My butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I don't know if I'll be doing eyeshadow in there, but I'll probably bring this little guy from Too Faced because it's what I wear like almost every single day. I have my Pat McGrath Mascara Beauty Blender Foundation. I don't know if I'll bring this one, um, but I do need to pack some makeup. I just don't know exactly what I'm gonna bring yet for makeup. Okay, as weird as this is, I found this the other day. This was from a brand PYT, but they sent a ton of mint in this little pouch, and I was like, wouldn't that be nice to just suck on a mint, okay, at the hospital? I don't know. Like, what if I just wanna suck on a mint? So, I'm gonna bring this. Is that weird? Probably. Okay, I have some products from Fresh. I did receive this free for review from Fresh and Octoly. I love their lip products and I love all of their skincare to be honest, but I heard that in the hospital your lips get really, really dry. It's just a drier environment. Your lips get chapped, cracked, and if it's one thing you need to bring, it's chapstick to the hospital. So I have a couple different things that they sent over to me. I have the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy. It's a triple action lip serum. So lip serum comes first. Actually, I have a scrub, so the scrub would come first, but this is what the packaging looks like on this. I do have the Sugar Lip Polish, which exfoliates and is literally like sugar. It smells so good too, it's like brown sugar. So I've got that. And then I have the Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. I've actually never tried this. I've tried plenty of the lip balms, but I've never tried the lip cream. So really excited to give this a go. And then we have the Fresh Rose Lip Treatment. I also love how it has SPF 15 and all of the lip treatments. So that's what I got from Fresh and I'm excited to bring them and put them on my lips and have hydrated, plump, luscious lips. I also have a little mini hairbrush in here. So that's everything that I have in my bag. I feel like I'm probably forgetting things. So please let me know in the comments down below because I'm gonna repackage everything and I'm probably missing a few things. But now I'll show you guys what's in my diaper bag. This is what my diaper bag looks like. I actually forgot the brand of this, but I'll put it off to the side. But it's just a backpack and I love backpack styled bags. Okay, so let's open this up. There's a bunch of different compartments to this and I did not fill this up yet. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna put diapers in here. Maybe like one or two, I guess I could add just in case like in the car, I know people do that. But I doubt we're gonna need diapers because we're gonna get some from the hospital. So I'm just gonna open this first pouch. I have a full size toothpaste in here. So I just have the Crest 3D White. I don't know why I put some things in here that I didn't put in my other bag, like with the soap, I don't know. I also have two toothbrushes. So one for me, one for Scott. And then I heard this was crucial. So I have two 10 foot phone chargers. One thing that you need, it is two 10 foot phone chargers because I was at the hospital and the service there is terrible, first of all, and also my battery drained really, really fast, so I think this is very important to have. So I have two, one for me, one for Scott. So that's everything that's in the first pouch. I don't even know, okay. In the side pouch, I just put a couple of burp cloths. Actually, I put one burp cloth, I think, and then I put a binky that's on this little thing. 
so nothing too special in there and then I might put a couple of diapers in the other side and then this main one I have a few different things so I have a cover for the car seat I don't know if it's gonna be snowing that day I don't know I don't know if we'll need this but I'm just bringing this so I have that I have this brown knit blanket which I'm obsessed with and I love and I think this is probably gonna be in one of the first photos with the baby I love this like cinnamon brown color I got this off of Etsy so I have that and then I have a swaddle for the baby so I have this one right here which I love this was like one of my first um, gifts from my registry which was super sweet but I love that so much and then I have some outfits so I don't know if he's going to be fitting into newborn outfits or zero to three months so I'm bringing a couple different sizes this one is newborn this looks really tiny to me but very very cute it's a zippy one and this is from Kate Quinn I'm also bringing this one which this is a newborn too this looks so small like there my baby in my stomach right now is way bigger than this I feel but this is adorable hopefully it works but if not I do have some other sizes so this one is zero to three months and this is another like zippy one and then this one is zero to three months this is from Kate Quinn so a little bit bigger I love the stars he is kicking like crazy right now I have another swaddle I think this is going to be one of the first like pictures like something like this with the brown blanket and a little hat so love this I think the hat is in this side pocket yeah so I'm bringing a couple different hats this hat which goes with the swaddle and then this one which is like a brown cinnamon one but I don't know why it's such like a freaking pine cone of a head but that's okay and then I have onesies, just like plain white onesies. So I have zero to three and then newborn. And I have little socks and I'm gonna pack little mittens too. And then the last thing in here is the blanket that we're gonna use for the car. Very warm and cozy. I got this from Michelle and that will be for the car. And I think that's honestly everything that I have packed in there. So yeah. Let me know if I'm missing something because maybe I am. But that is everything that I have packed. Um, I will definitely be adding some last minute things. I'm going to repack and organize a little bit better. Um, maybe do different like bags and like separate things a little bit nicer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to link Scentbird down below. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.